morning, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. It has been just over a month since Syracuse Police Officer Michael Jensen and Onondaga County Sheriff's Lieutenant Michael Husak were ambushed and killed by a lone gunman in Salina. Tonight, Lieutenant Husak's badge and call sign are being retired by Sheriff Toby Shelley. We want to go to News Channel 9's Kendra Protis, joining us just outside of the Justice Center ahead of a very moving ceremony set for tonight. Kendra, still about a half hour before the ceremony starts. I imagine people are already gathering. Christy, yeah, the ceremony doesn't start until 5.30, but as you can see behind me, people in trucks are already arriving, getting ready to show their love for the fallen. And this memorial happens every year, honoring deputies and county first responders who have died within the year, and then recognizing those who have died in the line of duty over the years. But this memorial isn't like those in years past. Today, they're honoring Lieutenant Michael Husak, who was with both the Onondaga Sheriff's Department and a member of Moyers Corners Fire Department as a firefighter and a paramedic. They're retiring his badge number and call sign. The ceremony is shared with the Onondaga County Volunteer Firefighters Association, who knew Lieutenant Husak well. Special because uh, Lieutenant Michael Husak, who is also a deputy sheriff, was also a deputy chief over at Moyers Corners. So he wore many hats in his lifetime. He did a lot of good for the community. He was a firefighter, uh, paramedic, uh, police, or uh, deputy chief, or deputy uh, sheriff. Um, you couldn't ask for an all-around better person. The ceremony isn't set to start until 5.30, but they're expecting this crowd to be one of their biggest. Live in Syracuse, Kendra Brodus, News Channel 9.